when I'm at church, I look at the windows and I wonder what the stories they will tell. I wonder what it would be like to be Mary and get a message from the angels. Sometimes when I'm praying at church, I wonder what it must have been like. A long time ago, an angel appeared to Mary with a message from God. When Mary saw him, she was frightened, but the angel said, Don't be scared, I have great news for you. You're going to have a baby, and you'll name him Jesus. A baby? I'm not even married yet. What am I going to tell Joseph? Don't worry about Joseph. I'll explain everything to him later. So Mary went to Joseph's workshop and told him the great news. An angel came to me and told me that I'm going to have a baby. And he's going to be very important. And Joseph said, What? I have to think about this. That night, Gabriel came to Joseph and said, Don't worry, God will take care of you. After I woke up, I felt better about everything. Joseph and Mary were walking through town and they heard a very loud sound. A Roman soldier unrolled the scroll and said, Listen up everybody, I have a very important announcement by the order of Caesar Augustus. You gotta get counted. And Joseph asked, Why do we need to be counted? Good question! So we could get more money from you. To keep our empire strong! You must start your journey right away! Because Mary was so pregnant, the journey to Bethlehem was very hard. Mary rode on a little donkey. Joseph talked to her and encouraged her. Joseph and Mary walked a long, long, long time. When they finally got to Bethlehem, it seemed like nobody had a place for them to stay. Finally, they found an innkeeper who said, I have no room for you here, but maybe you can go around the corner. Joseph and Mary were happy to find a safe place. That night, in a humble stable, Jesus was born. The Son of God was born in the stable where barnyard animals slept. Mary and Joseph watched over him. This tiny baby was going to change the world. Meanwhile, the angels went out to spread the good news about Jesus. Many shepherds cared for their flocks out in the wilderness. The shepherds rested after a hard day. The angels seemed to come out of nowhere. They surprised the shepherds. The angel Gabriel said, Don't be afraid, I have good news about baby Jesus. The shepherds were very happy to hear the great news. The angel said, Follow us, we'll show you where he is. Since the sheep were so tired, the shepherds had to carry them. The shepherds tiptoed into the stable to see baby Jesus. They had never seen such a beautiful child. They gathered around the manger quietly. Meanwhile, a great star pointed the way to Jesus. Three wise kings got the message and traveled from far away carrying precious gifts. 
When they got there, the star rejoiced. The first king brought gold. It glittered in the darkness. The second king brought frankincense. It smelled so sweet. The third king brought myrrh, a healing oil. Mary and Joseph thanked the three kings. After their group photo, the kings went their separate ways. The birth of Jesus is the reason we celebrate Christmas today. Jesus grew up to change the world. He taught us how to love each other and how to love God.